<laughs> Added that just for flavor. Good Monday morning to you guys. This is me in the middle of or near Cloudcroft, New Mexico. I want to give a shout out to Ryan this morning. Ryan came by and visited for a while. He's got him six acres around here somewhere with a solar and got a haul water and stuff. Thumbs up. Good luck, Ryan. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Enjoyed the visit. And uh, good morning to the rest of you rangers. Monday morning. Monday, Monday. Mamas and the papas. But anyway, uh, what else? Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. Right now, I just went zigging right on by. And here's your, your good morning Romeo kiss. <laughs> and <clears throat> at no additional charge, a stinking goat one eared a stinking one eared goat kiss. <laughs> oh, here's Matilda. Matilda give you a kiss too. <laughs> Wasn't she pretty? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, she howls at the moon at night, doesn't she? <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. And no, I've been here one week, one week in this area right now and uh, so far muy bueno muy bueno yeah i like it i like it like it like it so yeah it is real nice it's quiet man i'm telling you it's quiet i like that you know it's, it's amazingly quiet actually but be that as it may moving along to clint price who says one important thing to think about whenever any of us live especially as we age it is where are the nearest hospitals and how long it takes to get help i don't have a clue but i tell you clint I'll do the best I can as long as I can. can. Uh, Ralph P., thanks for the ride up the mountain, Rusty. The old stinking goat and I liked it. Well, good. You just got a stinking goat kiss. You ain't going to get another one. Beans and bacon, how many miles total? Still cheaper than uh, internal combustion, if my math is right. Oh, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. It's only three cents a mile uh, in the car, <clears throat> average. And uh, it seems it still comes down to range anxiety. Well, it just depends. You know, if you're not going to be taking any trips over, you know, uh, say 250 miles round trip, then you got it, you know, because you can ch recharge it overnight at home for 13 cents a kilowatt. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How many miles total? Well, total miles about 65 or 70 by the time I drove around in Amazon, uh, Alamogordo. <clears throat> Uh, beans and bakes says I'm trying to figure the cost of your drive. Basically, you used 65 kilowatts to make the trip at the home base charging. It, it, it's uh, <clears throat> well, it, 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 yeah, probably, I don't know how much it would be. It would be well because I get I get f nearly five miles to a kilowatt. Okay, so you know, it, I don't know. It's cheap. Dear tricks a thumbs up to you. Uh, this is on the Chama, New Mexico train ride. Paul S. says 135 for a ride pulled by a steam engine is not bad. They are quite costly to maintain and run. Hard to find parts, tools, and expertise to keep them running, but worth it. I guess so. I don't know. I've never ridden on one. <clears throat> I think a train ride would be fun, though, just for the hell of it. No name. Uh, catchy name. Not sure why they haven't incorporated a generator in all four hub assemblies for continuous charging at all times. I don't know. Ask the engineers, man. You got me on that one. John Bob on the drive with the electric car. We did that on the 4th of July, an hour up, an hour down. It's not Cloudcroft, New Mexico. It's Cloudcroft, Texas. It's about true because there's, there's a whole lot of Texans up here to get out of the heat. That's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, in fact, this area I'm, uh, I bought, probably 80% of them are from Texas. Yeah, at least. M. Hammer, whatever, says, Rusty, when, when is your Cloudcroft property for sale? I don't know. Uh, after you are done chasing your tail around for the YouTube summer entertainment. Chasing my tail around. Well, I don't know. Matilda Grin, she liked that too. Well, keep it up, boy. Van and Halen. Hail is a high altitude thing. Well, not really. Uh, it, it'll hail in the low countries too, but it probably maybe more often in, in the higher countries. I just lost my roof and three cars this month. Well, that's the way life is, guys. Hailstones do that. Night Trekker, although you didn't get a free lunch going down the mountain and back, 
I'd say at least you got a senior discount, nice driving video. It was just a test. I just wanted to see what it'd do. You know, uh, I'm E88. Hell no. Amazing place to stay cool. Aloha. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very cool here. In fact, uh, yesterday's high was about 78, and uh, that's pretty normal for this time of the year. And yeah, I'm liking it. Yeah, you, you don't have to run the air conditioner. Hell, I've got to run the heater in the morning. It was 54 in here this morning. It's a uh, 50 outside. <clears throat> yeah, no, is that nice? And sleep under a nice blanket and comforter? Oh, baby, hello. It's like fall, you know. Uh, let's see, Alice 88. Uh, what do we got here? Just so you will know, there are no groundhogs here. By the way, where is Dancing Bear? Oh, they, 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 all of that's in the RV over in the uh, uh, Capitan. Yeah, once I get settled down, I'll try to figure out a way to fix something up here. But right now, I'm not worried about it. Alice says, Rick, Ricky and I went on it three years ago. That was on the train train ride, Chama. says, halfway to Antonito, Antonito, you stop in o o o Osler for all you can eat lunch, which is included in the ticket price. The food was like home cooking. It was amazing how fast they... Got everyone fed. Plenty of selections and lot, plenty of selections and lots of it. There is a concession car. Don't remember if they sold beer, but the scenery was just breathtaking. Well worth the price. Well, that's good to know, Alice. And Alice's restaurant. Thank you. RB Living with the Geezer. Check his channel out on YouTube. <clears throat> plenty of torque to pull that uphill climb. You're right. Brackettville to Cloudcroft would be at least three charges. Uh, not really. It, it, well, coming back, it could in my car, in my car, possibly, possibly. Yeah, because I do. I, I mean, I'll get a, you know, going down the going down to Brackettville, I'll get two hundred seventy five miles <coughs> of range, but I'll I'll stop at two fifty and uh, and charge because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to run out of electricity, you know. But anyway, uh, John's what for? For overall use, I think a Prius or another hybrid is the way to go. I agree, but you can't find one. See, that's the deal. The dealers don't have any of the popular cars, hybrids, they don't have on the lot. And, and then they'll say, well, we've got one coming in in two weeks. Well, what color is it? Well, it's purple with a green interior. Oh, well, that's just what I'm looking for. You know, no, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I've already checked on that. I'm not saying I'm giving up, but <laughs> until they get something I want, Enough said. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, hybrid would be a good way to go, no doubt. Uh, Joe Doe says, how much did your home EV charger cost? Nothing. The car comes with one, uh, comes with a charger. Uh, it's 110 volt. It's slow as hell, but overnight it does good. And then I bought one for like, I don't know, 60, maybe it was 100 bucks over from Amazon. And, uh, uh, it t cut it, it uh, cuts that by a fourth. Okay, it, it's a 50 amp deal. <clears throat> Does running the AC use up enough of your battery power and therefore your range to make a noticeable difference? No, it it, it used three percent of your battery, approximately. Uh, but anyway, yeah, but they're getting better, man. They're adding more chargers and all that stuff. So yeah, it's 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 just working itself out. Magda Star, nice surprise find on the Chama deal. Uh, this is Bobby Dayton. Hello, Bobby Dayton on Chama. It gets very busy in late September with all the beautiful golden aspens. Yeah, I guess so. People want to take that train ride to see the change in colors on the uh, leaves, you know, the stuff. <clears throat> Kenneth McCullough says, keep all three properties, sell the RV and replace it with a small, cheap trailer for the six months in Capitan and hire a service to move and store it. Uh, no, I, but we're fine, dog. I mean, I thank you for your input, and that's all. That's a very good tip. But, uh, yeah, I'll just do me. I know that gets boring sometimes, but do the best I can. Thank you, though, Ken. Uh, Magdastar, thank you for the EV info. Very helpful. Yeah, I had a guy, yesterday I went into Cloudcroft, and I noticed the uh, electric, free electric charger was open, so I pulled in there and plugged in while I, I was going to go order some food to go, and uh, a <clears throat> guy was asking me about electric cars and stuff, and he was looking at the diff he was looking at a choice between a hybrid 
and an elect all electric. And then I asked him, I said, well, how do you use your car? Do you take, do you take many long trips over two, 200 to 250 miles? And he said, yeah, a couple of, a couple of times a week. And I said, well, then you want to go with a hybrid period. And whether he did that or not, I don't know, but that's what he should do. Ernest Paris, take a ride, Rusty. The old West is at your steps. We rode the Durango Silverton in Colorado. We booked the last car, which is for adults and has beer, whiskey, etc. The last car about, allows viewing from the back outside. There are restrooms on the train. The train there in Chama is on our bucket list. The best time may be uh, September when the trees turn color. Yeah, that's what somebody else said. Thank you for your comment. Uh, Francis Ebicky, I guess. So EV miles are not really miles. Thanks for the info. I was considering one. I'll probably get a hybrid for now. Uh, yeah, well, it, they're not. It's, it's hard to say. A, a hybrid, an energy electric, electrical use mile <clears throat> could be three land miles, depending on if you're going down a mountain, it could be five land miles before you use any. It won't be any if you're going down the mountain because it's recharging. So, yeah, it takes a while to get used to that difference. A blind as... Oh, Belinda, <laughs> duh, Belinda, Selena, hello, Rusty, how are you this morning? I'm fine. Uh, Rusty, I wish I was like you. However, if your name's Belinda, you got a lot of changes to make. <clears throat> However, I tend to overthink things and in the process have missed out on some properties I really like. The, that's, that's a typical feminine thing, honey. That, that's not just you. That's, that's a feminine thing, uh, making decisions. It takes a little longer. <clears throat> uh, anyway, it says the place, place is a gym, clean, and you got a great deal. Enjoy it. It beats the heck out of the heat. You know, it, it definitely beats the heck out of the heat anywhere. You know, no question. James Macon, or Jamie Macon, uh, awesome catch, Rusty. That's one of the most popular seeing it railroads out there. $135 is a reasonable price for an all-day steam engine excursion. Uh, I work for a railroad in Pennsylvania, and our all-day steam engines excursion start at $99 and go a bit over $200, depending on what type of car you ride in. And that weird sound the locomotive was, was making was the dynamo. Okay. Anyway, thank you, uh, Jamie. Mitch, 8831. We'll do three more. When I drive down a mountain in my gas-powered vehicle, my miles to empty readout goes way up, too. I must have a regenerative gas tank. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah, try going across Death Valley and see how it works. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> 4321. The Cumbers and Toltec Scenic Railroad is well known among rail fans. It travels through some very beautiful and scenic countryside in Colorado. All right, thank you. And uh, last one here. Joe says, for your round trip of 32 miles, it took about 45 miles of range. Not bad, actually. No, the 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 land miles is <clears throat> to Alamogordo, and the way I went and back was about seventy. So yeah, we did okay. You know, there's no doubt about that. But anyway, yeah, the re reason I'm cutting these down a little bit is because the internet upload speeds is a little slow, and it takes forever to get them uploaded. So anyway, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you want to. Some of you are. Some of you have. Thumbs up to you. Drink plenty of water. I'm scratch that. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And then what else? Take deep breath. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Uh, stretch. Stretch your fingers and hands too. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? You'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your uh, brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you have ever had. So, Give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. 
Uh, fuego by you can deal so aloha until the next video adios guys enjoy your life bye bye